I was thrilled to say that I've been able to partner with Apostrophe once more for today's video. So big, big thank you to Apostrophe for coming back into my life when I needed you the most. If you don't know about Apostrophe, it's an online platform that provides access to an expert dermatology team and prescription treatments. You complete virtual derm consultations slash visits and your treatments are shipped right to your home. Apostrophe doesn't just offer access to tretinoin. There are a wide range of topical and oral treatment options like expert care for acne, rosacea, wrinkles, and dark spots. You'll receive customized treatment plans from an expert derm team, plus ongoing support on your skin journey. So far, my results have been overall smoother skin while using it two to three times per week. Now, if this sounds like something you'd like to try to get started, you'll complete a virtual derm visit slash consultation through apostrophe. I'll leave a link below and also my promo code Nikki LaRose will give all new patients their first online consultation for just five bucks. I've also been incorporating the following products and steps into my routine, which I'll show you in just a bit, including sunscreen, which of course is a non-negotiable for me, regardless of if I'm using tretinoin in my routine or not, but it is especially important to protect your skin the morning after you've used tretinoin. So let's actually kick things off by talking about the sunscreens I've been using the most as of lately. There's three that I've been using the most, okay? One is actually the apostrophe sunscreen that was sent to me with my tretinoin prescription, which was great. So this is SPF 43. This is great for like all skin types, sensitive skin. I find this is still really lightweight under my makeup, which I really appreciate. And it's something that I look for specifically with my sunscreen. So loving this one. And it's a big tube. I usually end up bringing this all the way down my neck. I bring it down my arms. I use this one a lot on my hands because it's a big size. This is three ounces of product, which is amazing. And then the other one I'm running out of, which is 1.6 ounces. This is the Naked Sundays Cabana Cream Hydrating Sunscreen Moisturizer. This is SPF 50. I love this on the days when my skin's feeling like it's a little, like leaning towards being a little bit more dry. I have more normally oily skin, but there are times when my skin feels more dehydrated just more dry, like it needs more nourishment. And those are the days I usually pull this out and I wear this under my makeup. So loving this one, SPF 50, which is amazing. And then a new favorite that I have included in like some favorites videos. I've been loving this. This is my second bottle that I'm on. It's the Kiehl's Better Screen UV Serum Sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50 plus. It also has collagen peptides. I love the way this feels. It's like a milky, very hydrating, very silky, just amazing such great effect. I'm gonna put some on top of my hand just so you can kind of see it. It's kind of watery, but in a good way. I find that it melts into my skin so quick and so easy, which I love. And you know, when I'm testing sunscreens, the true test is really how it wears under my makeup. This one passed that test with flying colors. So I love the way this feels and looks under my makeup. It's just a go-to of mine, an absolute go-to of mine. So these have got me covered with my sunscreens. I usually rotate between three at the max, no more than three, to be honest. So these are like my three that I'm using the most currently. Some other products and treatments that I'm incorporating into my routine that I'm loving, like these are all ahead of me, like all my true, true current favorites for nighttime, daytime. I'll get into like when I use them. So for nighttime, this combo is so so nice, so nourishing, so gentle on my skin, which I really appreciate. You know, I do a lot of makeup tutorials, I have a lot of makeup on, I take it off a lot, I reapply it, you know what I mean? I, I touch up a lot, I do a lot to my face. And when I'm removing my makeup at night, I find that these are really gentle and just really effective. And they leave my skin just not stripped, not overly dried out. In fact, it's a total opposite. So one is the high oil cleanser. This is like an oil cleanser. This actually breaks down my makeup really, really quick and easily. But if you know me, you know that I like to do my first swipe of removing my makeup with a cotton round, like a reusable one that's really soft and like microfiber feeling and my Mycelar cleansing water from Garnier. That's like my go-to routine. So I take off the bulk of like that first layer. Then I'll go in, get all the rest of the residue and makeup off with this cleansing oil. Then this has been by far my favorite. This makes my skin feel so hydrated, so plumped and so nourished. It's a very watery, but very, it just feels like a watery hydrating serum, but in a cleanser form. So it's very, very gentle. It doesn't irritate my eyes. In fact, both these I could get my mascara off with, like this first, obviously, and this kind of takes off whatever the remnants are. But none of this gives me like that blur vision or like that foggy vision where it gets into your eyes and it really is uncomfortable. These are just so soothing and so nice. These have been my absolute go-to cleansers for nighttime, loving these. And then let's actually hop over to toners. I'm a big toner fan. I love toners, I love essences, I love all that stuff. I believe in them wholeheartedly. I use them in my routine, I use them in my makeup kit, as you probably know by now. But the ones I love the most for me right now, this one I have like about that much left in this tube. I love this one so much. I find it so gentle on my skin, 
but this really helps to gently exfoliate my skin. It really helps to brighten it overall. I feel like my skin is smoother when I'm using this and I use this all over. So I use it all in my face, bring it all the way down my neck, I bring it on my chest and I really get my hands good with this because the reason why, it's 6% mandelic acid, 2% lactic acid. It's a liquid exfoliant for Paula's Choice in case I didn't mention that. And it has AHA, it has all kinds of stuff to exfoliate your skin and remove that, you know, kind of dull top layer. And it says too specifically, which is why I use this on my hands a lot, is because it improves sun damage. Now I, you know, I wash my hands constantly. I put sunscreen on my hands a lot, but I also wash it off constantly. So I feel like my hands are just always subject to sun damage when I'm driving, when I'm out and about, when I'm doing things, when I'm walking my dogs, like I'm out and about a lot. <laughs> and and uh, I feel like this is helping to just overall, just kind of brighten my hands. And even if it's a placebo effect, I just feel like my hands are in better shape since using this on my hands as well as my face. So absolutely loving this exfoliating toner for Paula's Choice so, so much. The nights that I'm not using my tretinoin, which I only use this two to three times per week at the max, like I mentioned, anymore and my skin just is not fully acclimated to it yet. So I'm slowly getting myself into using it more, but two to three times, three being the absolute max. So on the days that I'm not using my tretinoin, I use this as my toner. So this is also from Babor. It's the Refine Retinol Smoothing Toner. I don't know how much retinol is actually in it, but I just can tell you that I like the way it makes my skin feel. I feel like it plumps it up. I It's the same reason why I like all these toners. It's an instant drink of water for my skin and it really primes it and gets it ready for like my serums and then my thicker creams and nighttime creams to just sit on top and like really like lock this in. So I use this the same way I use all the other ones. I put on my hand, down my neck, I put on my chest and all over my face and I love the way my skin is feeling with this one, love it. So the last toner that I use almost on a daily basis and I use this nighttime, daytime, doesn't matter. This is the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. This is supposed to protect and visibly repair boost luminosity. It's filled with antioxidants. I just love the glow that this gives my skin. This is like so hydrating, so soothing. So my skin feels like it's like compromised or like it's been through just the ringer of like sun exposure and just stress and travel. All those things really take a toll and I see those things on my skin like almost instantaneously, especially like lack of sleep. I will see that on my face right away. <laughs> so this is like a nice soothing, just absolute drink of water to my skin and I just love the glow this gives my skin before I do my makeup. So when I'm using this during the day, this gives me like a long lasting glow, like healthy glow to my skin that is just, it's just, it's a great product. It's pricey. A lot of the stuff is pricey. It's definitely an investment, but you know what? Your skin, you have it once and treat it wisely. And so I love this. I'm a big, big fan of this. And I also use this down my neck, on my hands. I'll even sometimes put on my arms if I'm feeling a little extra dry but love those toners so much. And then I want to talk about some serums, like actual serums that I've been using the most in my routine. Now this one I use a lot nighttime and daytime. So this one I'll put on pretty much right after either one of my toners at night, or I'll put it on before my sunscreen in the day. And it's actually really lightweight, really hydrating, helps to plump my skin. It's the Tear Tear SOS Serum. It's a refreshing skin anti-wrinkle moisturizing serum. So lightweight quickly absorbs into my skin, it is amazing for underneath makeup. I'm just gonna show you it too. Comes in a dropper and the luminosity, like the glow, the instant hydration that this gives my skin is just wonderful. It feels amazing. I had to put this on my arms now because I have too much stuff on. It feels amazing. It is so soothing. It is so plumping. I especially love the way this looks under my eyes. So if my eyes are feeling especially dry, and you know, maybe a little dehydrated, like I want some plumpness to that area, I'll take it and I'll rub it in under my eyes. It plumps my under eyes. It really gets them into a good shape for my sunscreen to then go on top and then my makeup to go on top. So really great for makeup, skin prep. Been loving this one. And Tear Tear is really affordable too. A newer one that I was actually sent in PR and I wasn't sure about it at first. I thought, okay, well, it's kind of greasy, but no, it's not actually greasy at all. And I'm obsessed with the way this feels on my skin. It's from Skin Rocks. I've never tried anything from this brand, but they sent me the Protect. It's the antioxidant face serum. This is not something that is intentional. It says it's fragrance-free and it actually is fragrance-free, but this smells like buttery oatmeal, like buttered oatmeal cookies, not intentionally because there's no, it says specifically fragrance free, but the way it, it makes me, it gives me a sweet tooth. It makes me want to make oatmeal cookie batter 
and just pour butter on it and just eat it by the scoopful. Like just inhale it. It's, it smells delicious. It smells absolutely delicious. So it says it's a AM or PM. I use this mainly in the, the daytime. So I'll put my one of my toners on first and then I'll alternate between the tear tear or this one. Feels so, so amazing. But this one is, I use this more for the days where I feel like I want a little extra moisture underneath my moisturizing sunscreen, if that makes sense. Because it does add more moisture and it's a thicker product than the next product I'm gonna show you as well. So thicker than the tear tear and also thicker than the prequel. New product that I'm loving. This is so, so nice. So well done. Sam Ellis crushed it with this as she does with all of her products from prequel. This is the multi-quench plumping hydration serum. This has glycerin in it. It has, I'm not even gonna go into the details because I, I can't speak about them like a dermatologist could, like Sam Ellis could, but I like this because it instantly pumps my skin. To me, these are interchangeable. So I alternate between the two of these. Both are equally soothing. Both give me the same kind of plumping, like skin quenching feeling. Both really lightweight. Both wear incredibly well under my makeup and my sunscreen. So these are like my daytime hydrating serums that I love, but this one I'll also use at night periodically. So those are my serums. Those are like the ones I go to the most currently. But let's talk about some treatments because there's two treatment masks that I use the most and I rebuy the most. Well, I haven't rebought this one yet, but this one I have rebought probably a dozen times at this point. I always end up getting this travel size one because I travel a ton and I find that that's when I use this one a lot. When I'm not removing my makeup soon enough at night, when I'm feeling like I have a dull complexion, when I'm feeling like I need my pores to be brightened and more cleansed and more purified, that's when I pull this guy out. I love this mask from Kale. It feels really nice going on. It's not one of those really stiff, uncomfortable masks and it doesn't flake while you're wearing it. So like I, I find, and I shouldn't admit this, that I leave this on way too long and I'll be reading emails, I'll be editing, I'll be doing all kinds of stuff and I'll, I'll left it on like way longer than you're actually supposed to leave it on. It's only like a 10 minute mask. I usually end up leaving it on for like 20 minutes. Don't tell Kale, but I do. And it still feels fine. And when I rinse it off, my skin is definitely, it's definitely brightened and it's definitely like, it looks like it's been treated. Like it's a mask that I feel like is one of the only masks that I see somewhat of an instant result and like instant gratification with this one. It just makes my pores look like they're smaller, like they're cleaner, all that good stuff. So highly recommend this one. It's the Venergetic C Instant Detox Mask. Love this one. And the new one that I'm a huge, huge fan of, but I don't use this one all over my face. And I wanna tell you exactly where I put this. This is from Dr. Idris. This is the Major Fade flash mask. It's an exfoliating AHA mask. Now this one is a little more intense, even on my skin. My skin is not sensitive, but I find that this one I can't really wear all over and I also don't need to. So the whole point of this mask is to fade hyperpigmentation, dark spots, melasma, scarring, acne scarring, things like that. So anything, you know, pigmentation wise, you'd want to fade. This is the kind of mask you'd want to get to do that. So I only use this mask on my cheeks. This is it. I only use it on my cheeks because the thing about me is I have very even skin, but my cheeks, I do have some little hints of melasma popping through. And as I get older, I'm starting to see it a little bit more. So I'm trying to kind of keep it below the surface as much as I can. The other thing about me too is my skin, I scar very, very easy. So for example, I have three. That's gonna leave me with a, a dark spot. These two right here, they're gonna leave me with a dark spot. I just know it because I know my skin, like the back of my hand, literally. So this mask I've been using to just fade and brighten my cheeks and just my cheeks. But I also will use this on my hands. I do have a pretty decent scar on my hand and on my knuckle over here. I'm a little self-conscious about, it's a burn. It sucked, it hurt really bad. So I've been using this in hopes that it's gonna fade the scar, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna do much, so. But I put it there anyway, because why not? So these are my two favorite masks at the moment. Absolutely love them, both for completely different reasons. Now, one more product I actually want to call out from Prequel, and I meant to talk about this a little bit earlier in the video, but this is the Prequel Skin Utility Ointment. Now, I actually want to talk about this too, because this is something that I use to protect certain areas of my face from the tretinoin that I'm using from apostrophe. So when I'm using my tretinoin, I like to make sure that I'm not getting the tretinoin under my eyes. Well, it will cause some irritation. You're supposed to avoid your under eye area. And for me, I have to avoid around my lips because I'll get a lot of irritation, like perioral dermatitis type irritation, like extremely irritated. So I'll put this 
all around my lips. I'll put a little around my nose, like in the inner part right here where I will get irritated and I'll make sure I load it up under my eyes. So that way, even if I do go a little wild with my tretinoin and I'm not thinking, I'm just kind of putting it all over as a you know habit, this is there to protect me and act like a barrier so the tretinoin doesn't get to places where I don't want it to be. So love this, almost out of it. I actually was at the prequel offices a couple weeks ago. I was given a new one for free, so thank you prequel. I really appreciate it. So love this. This is also just nice on my lips too. I put this just all over my lips as my a nighttime lip balm. Fantastic product. Last but not least, but I've been asked about this type of product for a while. If you are not new to my channel, you know that I love to use like lash growth serums. I love brow growth serums. I am a bald brow girly over here. And also I have one side of my lashes that is really full and they're more, you know, long and thick. And the other eye is just it needs to catch up. So my other eyelashes are just not as great on this side in particular. So I just started using Revita Lash because I actually picked up this duo when it was on sale during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I got a really good deal on it, thankfully, because these are really, really, really pricey. Okay, so I got the Revita Lash eyelash conditioner. So I use this in the morning, every single morning, no fail. You have to be diligent. You have to use this kind of product every single day to actually see results, which is hard to do sometimes. So I just leave it on my counter by my sunscreen. And that's for me, that's the only way that I'll remember to actually use it. So it's next to my sunscreens in my bathroom in plain eyesight. That's the only way I remember. And then there's the brow one too. And the brow one actually has a doe foot applicator. I'll go the opposite direction of where my brows grow, if that makes sense. So instead of just going like this, I go shh, and I push it into the root of my brows. This is the wand that comes with the lash growth serum. So just like a little eyeliner type wand. Great product so far. I I think I'm seeing a little bit of results with my lashes. I'm not sure yet about my brows. My brows seem to be exactly the same. So stay tuned for my continued thoughts and use on these two products, but I'm excited for hopefully, to, just to hopefully see some results with my brows, especially my lashes. I can do fine without, but I would really love to see some extra brows going on up here because these guys... They take me a lot of time to fill in and fake it till I make it in the morning, you know? You know what I mean? So I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on these. That actually wraps up this video. This is my complete updated AM and PM routine for all my serums, all my lotions and potions as Mitch calls them. So this is like my full on skincare routine that I've been using the most for the past several months at this point. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your go-tos have been for the last several months or just in general for your skincare. It could be AM, it could be PM. Let me know what's working for you. Let me know if any of these products are some of your favorites as well that are working well for your skin. And remember, these are the things that are working well for my skin. Everyone is different. Everyone's journey with their skin is completely different. So just be careful if you're trying new things, because again, what works for me may not be the best for you. So this is what works for me personally. And that wraps us up. Big, big thank you one more time to Apostrophe for partnering with me on today's video. I only partner with people that I believe in and that I trust their products. So again, I'll leave all the info and a link below for you to check out Apostrophe and to get your first online consultation. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm